What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're doing Chipotle. I have been craving Chipotle for a few days now, you guys. And I'm so freaking hungry. Okay. So the first thing that I have are their lime chips. So I'm just gonna like put some of those here on the tray. Just like put some on and grab from the bag if we need more, right? I also have guac, which is amazing. Chipotle actually makes a really good guac, you guys. I have their green salsa. I don't know that that's what you call it, but I think it's their spicy one. I just didn't want the red one today. And I'm retrying their queso again, you guys. Last time I had it was when it was new and it tasted like chalk to me. So we're gonna give it a retry and see if it's any different. And then lastly, we have a burrito. In the burrito, you guys, I just did double chicken, cheese, guac, sour cream, lettuce, beans. I don't like rice, you guys, so no rice. Let's try some of this queso first. I'm so hungry, you guys. You get the first bite. Mm. It still tastes a little chalky. So I heard you guys that this isn't real cheese. They like mix it from a powder. So, I don't know. To drink, I just have a Diet Coke. I actually wanted to try a Mexican Coke. But the DoorDash person called and was like, they're out of Mexican Coke. And I'm like, just bring me a Diet Coke. Mm. So normally when I go to Chipotle, you guys, and it's been a while, I will get a burrito bowl, but today I was really craving a burrito. This guy is heavy. I don't like my burritos like super overstuffed because I like to be realistic with what I can eat, but let's go ahead and try this bad boy. So good, you guys. I didn't get veggies in my burrito either. Because sometimes I'm really particular on the consistency of my burrito. Like, it's got to be really soft and smooth. And I love sour cream. Mmm. Mmm. I think Oliver wants a bite.
They have really good guac though, you guys. I love the guac from Chipotle. What do you guys like to eat on your burrito? Also, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, Welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing, you guys. Next stop is 400 subscribers. I'm so happy, and I'm so happy for all of you that came over. Sometimes I'm kind of sketchy on ordering drinks from um, DoorDash that they fill. Because sometimes I'm like, what do they do with that drink? Did they breathe on it? <laughs> Did they take a sip from it? That's why I ordered the bottle, but they were out. So I'm kind of getting at this place now, you guys, where it feels weird when I don't upload. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to get on some sort of a schedule. Also, so that I'm posting at the same time when I do post. Because the past couple of videos that I did, I've been working. So I filmed them. Not like days in advance. But then I like the feature on YouTube where you can just schedule it out. That way it just goes live for the time that you want it to go live. And I know normally I was posting like really, really late. But I think I'm gonna start posting at 5 p.m. I think that's a really good upload time.
I heard a lot of Chipotles were closing down this year. Another thing that I really like to get from Chipotle is their quesadilla. But you have to order it in person. You can't order it online. You can only order a kid's quesadilla, which is like in the little small one. I forgot I got lettuce in there. I was like, what is that? But it's all at the end. The salsa is really good. It doesn't give me the hiccups, but it also um, kind of makes my nose run. I always forget how much I like Chipotle. I don't eat there a lot. Mm. I remember the last time I ordered food from here. I ordered like chips and guac, chips and salsa, chips, like kind of the same thing, right? But the DoorDash called and was like, they're out of chips, so do you want to replace it with something? So I'm like, okay, well, I ordered all these dips, right? Just replace them with like tortillas because you can get tortillas too on the side. So whenever they brought the order, I'm like going through the bag, there's no dip. So like no queso, no salsa, no guac. The lady literally replaced the whole order, which is literally all tortillas. So I had like 20 orders of tortillas and no sauces. I was so mad, you guys. Like, what the heck am I going to do with 20 waters of tortillas? Mm. All the lettuce and all the guac are at the end.
You see how this is like starting to make me sweat? Okay, you guys. I'm tired of holding this, so let's see if we can put this off for a big bite. I'm actually really impressed with myself because normally I would not have been able to finish that. But intermittent fasting really helps me be able to eat all this food. I think Sauce Queen does that too, to really help her. <coughs> oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so full though. I could still eat a little bit more. Oh my gosh, that salsa is a little hot, but it's like not hot at the back of your throat hot. <gasps> you guys. Uh oh. I got the sweetest gift from one of my friends that I met on YouTube named Lisa. She is so kind. Um, she was one of the people that we exchanged Christmas cards over the holiday season. So she was so kind and did not have to do this, you guys, but she knows how much I love the tropics. She knows I always vacation in South Beach, Miami. And so she bought me a authentic coconut bowl and a spoon. And it came with two sets. How beautiful are these, you guys? I already have ideas for what I'm going to do with them in a video. Um really really so so happy for these bowls you guys but they're like my little coconuts <laughs> isn't that funny thank you so much lisa i'm gonna cherish these forever but these are like real coconuts they've been polished apparently they don't burn like if you like put them on heat um thank you thank you thank you thank you all right, you guys, I am going to call this a video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to pull Oliver over here right now just to say bye. Um, so I will see you guys in my next video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And I will see you and I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.